All right, team, let's talk about orthographic mapping or encoding or spelling. This is sort of that second half of phonics. The first half of phonics, we focus more on decoding activities where a student had to read a, a word in a text or in isolation, and then they had to match, uh, pronounce the word correctly. Now we're going to do the reverse. With orthographic mapping or encoding or spelling, by the way, there's a nice definition here of orthographic mapping. But essentially, if you ever saw orthographic mapping, that is the reverse of decoding. It's uh, known as uh, spelling or encoding. And it's when a student takes sounds in a word spoken orally, and they match up those sounds with their correct spelling patterns. So when I say spelling pattern, I'm referencing a grapheme. So in the word fish, fish, right? You agree that the pho sound in fish, that sound that you hear, pho, would go with that grapheme, right? Or that spelling pattern. This is the spelling pattern, the spelling symbol for that sound. And the i, this is a short vowel, i, short i, that would go with this spelling pattern here, okay? That specific letter. The sh, sh, now sh could be a bunch of things. But in the word fish, the sh sound in fish goes with the sh uh, spelling pattern or uh, the sh diagraph, right? So, so we're taking sounds in oral language and we're mapping them up with the correct um, um, phonics pattern, right? The correct, the correct grapheme, uh, grapheme or spelling pattern. This is orthographic mapping. This is encoding. This is what we do with spelling. So. So when you see the word encoding or you see scenarios where a student is taking sounds in a word, maybe the teacher, like maybe a lot of times in these scenarios, will see assessment. And this is what the teacher does. The, the teacher, right, uh, says the word spoon. And then the student has to take what the teacher said and they have to spell the word spoon that the student student will be asked to do some type of spelling assessment. And they'll take the sounds they hear in spoon and in their mind, they'll map them out with letters or graphemes or spelling patterns for the word spoon. So spelling exams are a type of encoding assessment or orthographic mapping assessment. And this leads us into our first um, uh, phonics uh, encoding, uh, phonics encoding scenario. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Sorry, T. All right. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here's the first one. We're going to do a bunch of them, and they're all going to be a teacher doing some type of assessment spelling test. Okay, and we're going to look to see how they spell and see what are the gaps in their spelling that indicate gaps in phonics and then encoding. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. <laughs> 